Yo, what is up guys, this is JD Zero doing a podcast, finally doing a podcast in a very long time with my buddy Chaotic, and uh, hey. we're going to be trying to do a, uh, it's, it's going to be more on a horror film, we're going to do a little bit of a podcast about uh, the Grudge and Johan, or Johan considering it's the Japanese version of the Grudge. But later on, I did pick up the mental of Grudge as a uh, game. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, my thing is, because knowing the fact that it took up the name as the Grudge, and this was like maybe 20... No, it didn't pick, pick up, up the name, name Grudge. Yeah, it, it, it had the name beforehand. It had the name beforehand. Yes, it did have the name beforehand. It did have the no, name uh, Grudge. No, it did. It no, did. Uh, the movie just, series does have the Grudge. Uh, but but, but like the Grudge is the Western. No, 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 sir, sir, sir. I'm looking at on my. Google search bar Johan series as Johan the Curse was the first movie of Johan in 2002 they created <laughs> Johan the Grudge there is a series called Johan the Grudge oh well, well the, the Grudge the Grudge, the grudge that, that it was more synopsis to the Western version, which was me with but the original creator. But here's the thing. The Grudge didn't get started until 2004. Oh, um, okay. Uh, so this, this is like way before the Grudge was the Grudge for the Western yeah. audience. Yeah. So, it's, 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 so it already states that fact they already named it The Grudge before the Western mm-hmm. Islands named it The Grudge. Uh, mm-hmm. So, in this Johan, there was Curse of Johan, there was Curse of Johan 2. These both were played in the same year, 2000, mm-hmm. and Johan The Grudge was 2002. And then they end up doing Johan The Grudge Two in two thousand three, which leads on to the Grudge of two thousand four, being the worst. I thought style. it. I thought I it went by a different name in Japanese, Japanese. So yeah, Johan is the name. Johan's the name, but they added the subtitle as the Grudge. No, no that's that was talking about the actual, actual Japanese, Japanese name. I thought it was like because like, remember the one movie where it's matched, matched up with the ring. ring? Uh, you mean the first is fight? The the it should be like the yeah uh, it's yeah Johan versus uh Sak- is it Johan? I thought it was Psycho versus it's Psycho versus Johan. Um, uh-huh. so Psycho Sy- is basically uh, the ring. The ring, yeah. I knew, I knew that. that. I knew that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um. Kaiko. Kaiko. That's, that's what, what I thought her Japanese, Japanese name was. Kaiko. Um, but yeah, the, the, the title of the, like, the actual name of Grudge was Sorry. basically Johan, and then follow okay. on okay. Johan the Grudge as a secondary mm-hmm. uh, a title. Um, I, have, I have to say, though, mm-hmm. with, with the, the, the last few Western Grudge movies, movies though? Take it now. Yeah, the, the Grudge 3 and then the Grudge number 4, if you want to go that route, because it's going to title itself as the Grudge as a soft reboot, even though it's not technically a soft reboot, because it's still a continuation of part 3. Yeah. yeah. Which is yeah. Again, they, they one of the most stupidest they things to do for a fourth movie like that where you make it still 
a actual continuation of the Grudge series. Because uh, you know, no, they, they should. Start. They should just. They should have just stopped. I think it was like the original like trilogy or something. Yeah, it's, it should have stopped with the original trilogy of being The Grudge, The Grudge 2, and The Grudge 3, and just left it at that. But yeah. then, when, when they were going to do a Grudge 4, or assuming it was going to be a Grudge 4, technically it is, they should have called it The Grudge 4 and continued the story and see who else was going to get cursed afterwards. Well, but I... It, I, I Kind of I that way, it. but it kind of did. I kind of like how they were trying to transfer the curse to a western. That was actually a pretty bold move on my yeah. part. Yeah, it's it just the execution was terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Very terrible. And I'm glad, the, like, see, this is the thing, this is why I kind of probably will like the ring more than the the western grudge now because it's like they never did anything wrong to fuck up that movie right they never did anything it was, like that uh, it was the ring yeah mm, besides the changing the actual backstory of those no they didn't they really did it, like they kept the, the even in seven days even it's even the, the modern one. one yeah the one that just came out like two years ago a year ago they still kept it, still seven days, even though it's been spread out worldwide. It's still kept the seven day rule. Like, they didn't Whoa, not, knock anything not only out. that, not, not only that, that but, but the, the new, new one, one rings, rings, I think it's called. Yeah. Actually, took it in a better direction with her rebirth. Yeah, it did. It, it really did. It really did. So. so I have, I have to, to give probably with that one. one. Yeah. Which <laughs> is, it's like, if you want to recommend it, watch Ring. Watch the. You, you have, have to watch, watch them all, though. You have to watch them all. You have to watch the. You can basically consider the Japanese Ring, mm -hmm. and which is Sadako. Yes. And the Western Ring, the Ring, the Ring 2 so on and so forth, yeah. as two separate entities. Don't try and mash them together, because they're not meant to be mashed together. They're meant to be two separate entities. Yeah, because the whole Sonico, the whole... Backstory is different. It's, it's different, because with the Japanese version, it's a two-day kill. Um, and not only, not only that, but it, the, the age of the woman's different. Yeah. The reason why she died was different. Yes. It, it's just, it's too different to mash it together. Yeah, it's really too different. Now, you, you could make some sort of headcanon, which that's what I kind of did to give me an excuse to watch them all, was that the rebirth process happened once already, You know what? and it became that little girl. Yeah, I think it was... I think there was a part in, cause in the series, because I was looking at the series, and I think they did like a reboot to uh, Sonico, where she became a child, and they kind of like intertwined. It felt like it kind of intertwined with the Rings Western style, which kind of threw me off. And I was like, oh, okay, this seems a little bit intriguing. I want to know what's going on with this. Another I Western uh, horror movie, movie I would recommend? recommend. One that actually creeped me out what? was the, the Western, Western reboot, 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 but the Western, Western version of One Miss Call. Uh, that yeah. one freaked me out to the point where when I watched it when I was a little younger, though. But, but it, it still gives me the creeps a little bit. It's uh, my brother used to have that ringtone as his ringtone, and every time his phone went off, I freaked out. It's like it makes you want to like, oh please, I I actually want to answer my phone every single time. I do not want to miss a fucking call. 
exactly, exactly. It, 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 I would highly recommend one this call. I mean, the, the, the ending, though, is a little predictable Western, yeah. but overall, oh, well, I'll still really watch. Um, yeah, so, another thing about, uh, you know, that I kind of realized they had, they actually did a was it kind of like a pre-mini series to the series for the movie um which is kind of weird because this is more of a uh what was it a because it it has a different title to it it's a different title it's called kissing custom me and four 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 this was a 1998 series so this is like a movie before it went to Juno and then everything else. Apparently this was like a, a it was a short horror, a, a short horror uh, movie, I guess. It was kind of like... Um, kind of like, like how the original, original it was. was. Yeah, so it's kind of like a little bit, like a little short and we'll see how it goes. And if you like the movie... We'll do the actual movie series for it afterwards. And technically, this is probably like the connection to the actual series because it's technically bef- what happened beforehand that got you. And then it goes into the actual um, Johan and whatever. So, this is like the, the movie before the movie. It's kind of like how they did for uh, Pokemon. Uh, the yeah. movie with the whole Mewtwo situation where when Mewtwo, before Mewtwo got to the point of being a little bit bigger and whatnot, he had a little story in between before he woken up and then blow up everything. Uh, yeah. I guess when he was like talking to the professor's daughter or whatever, that was that whole situation. Mm. So this is basically the backstory of how the curse starts. Yeah. And oh, with the murder. murder. Yeah, with the whole murder, and then that led out to the curse, led out to Juno, and then the curse of Juno. Like Juno okay. Is- so, so my, my question, question is, um, because this just kind of threw me for a loop here. Yeah. Is if it's calling Juno, mm-hmm. Juno. Mm-hmm. Sorry, if I butchered it. I'm, I'm probably every, butchering it too, so. Every single Japanese, Japanese version. version. Okay. Then okay. why is for the versus movie a different name? Uh, because I think this was because the reason why they I think they lead off with uh with uh Saiko's uh name first. Because I think this is supposed to be more of a Psycho's versus. And I mm. guess they finally got the. Uh, they actually wanted to bring the actual name of the woman who did die. Uh, okay. In the, the original hunting. And that's the. So, so Psycho is the garage and Psycho is the ring. No. Got it. Uh, well, I mean, well, no, yeah. I'm, I'm looking. I'm. I'm looking at the movie. The movies like what would technically be the box art. Mm-hmm. And Sadako's name is up top with the grudge coming downstairs. Okay. Well, oh, okay. Kaiko is with the well with the hand coming out for the ring. Okay. That that makes sense. That makes sense. So I guess Sadako would be technically. The Juan, and then uh, Kayako would be the ring. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's that's the reason why they kind of wanted to go ahead and just say, hey, if you didn't know her name, or if you probably watched the movie, and you probably like heard of what the name of that victim was who actually haunted the place. 
that's her name, mm-hmm. and this is the person she's gonna be bursting off, and Kaiko will be the one from the Ring series. So oh, I'll never mind. What? I screwed it up again. Alright, so I'm reading the synopsis. And Sadako is the ring. So it was kind of correct on Sadako being the ring. I think, I think so because it's just. Yeah. Alright. Um. Yeah, the only way to permanently expunge the curse is to piss Sadako and some other vengeful spirits of us obliterating each other. But we all know, or at least you and I do. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to, like, I feel like spoiling it is, it's out of the point of doing it, but, I mean, like, if you haven't seen it, you gotta watch it, um, but I will spoil it here. Um, basically, it's a fusion, the Pretty much did like a fusion. They they are now one. So I'm yeah, assuming... their their name their their name is Sadak Sadakaya. Yeah, which is literally Sada from Sadako and Kaya from Kayako. Yeah, so I'm assuming their curses are still gonna still. No, it's now now um it takes. Sadako's, uh, curse, but with the movements of both. Uh, cause I feel like the curses should still be the same though. Maybe it is. Maybe both curses can activate the entity. Yeah, cause I mean like, I feel like, okay, they're gonna have to apply to their same rules, right? They're gonna have to like, okay, if someone goes into the house, they get affected by the rules of that cursed house, right? Um, mm. If they watch the video, they're gonna have to be affected by the two day rule still. You know, yeah. Nothing has it's, changed it's, for their actual curse. It's weird. But it, it, to be to be fair, to be fair, mm-hmm. it was first originally an April Fool's show. It was supposed to be an April Fool's joke, but. I mean, it's still here in the sonat, you know, in the like listing of oh, this is a film, this was made, this is a part of it. Yeah, true. It does say that in the whole Juno thing. Yeah, it's still considered an actual, you know, thing. So if it was an April Fool's, it would have <sighs> been treated like another April Fool's thing, and it would just been like some type of short clip of an April Fool's thing, but no, it was a full-on movie. Movie. In 2016. In 2016, so it's like... Um, they also have a, uh, TV series going on this year. Yes, The Origins. Yep. Which, again, it brings me back to the whole 1998 situation, like... Mm Mm-hmm. But it's... It brings it up... Because I, I finished watching it. Oh. And, um, you, wait, which one? The one you're talking about or the one with six episodes so far? The one on Netflix. It's on, yeah, it's it's on, on Netflix? Netflix? Yeah. It's actually on American Netflix right now. Surprisingly. You're kidding me. <laughs> Surprisingly. You're kidding me. Yes. Let me, let me, look that, let me, let me just fact check you for a second here. Yeah, I, um... Basically, I, I, I'm, I'm sure you can understand. Yeah, um, my thing was I went to my sister's uh, room and she, no, I went into the living room and she had the TV on and then we were on Netflix and she literally looked it up and it was like right there. And I was like, oh shit, hey, it's actually right here on Netflix. No way. And this is all the American Netflix. She didn't like, you know, nor you know, yeah. end it or anything. It's it's right still here. Right there. Right here. Yeah. See it. Yeah. So, I was like, this is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, it's 
Yeah. I've seen it. It's, it's, pretty crazy. it's, it's interesting because it does kind of talk about certain things that are going on with the house, which is, it's, it's, it felt like, the thing is, it kind of felt like how they were doing the last movie of The Grudge for the Western audience, for the Western audience of watching this movie, and as a TV series, it's like, there's different events happening. Mm-hmm. You don't know where exactly in the timeline it's happening. Um, now, this is... It's probably because oh, yeah. the way the movie is set, I mean, what the series is set, it's basically... It's kind of explaining the... What movie could I example this off of? Because it's one of those things where, you know, how ghosts are, like, in a different... Between our... Uh, mm-hmm dimension and shit yeah. where certain things affect outside that dimension interacts with their ghosts in this dimension type situation mm-hmm. which does not make sense at all which is just like blows my mind because I'm seeing shit that doesn't make sense with the actual what they're trying to tell me in the in the show so I'm like You'll 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 see when you start watching it because it's like what it yeah. starts to, it starts to make sense and then it gets convoluted and then it's like wait what huh and even if you are following it by subtitles it's just like it doesn't make sense what um, yeah um I know we're talking about horror movies but I was just looking at the coming scenes uh, and that the seven deadly sins. August 6th. August 6th? Yeah, season 4. Is it coming out on August 6th? Yeah, that's That's what Netflix Netflix is saying. Uh, Sorry. Don't mind me. (laughs) <laughs> um, okay, that's the topic at hand. Sorry about that. Um, huh, I just saw it and I was like, huh, he needs to know about this. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, as throughout the series, because there is mm-hmm. like a huge lineup with this series. Um, there is. Even if it is a Japanese and a non-Japanese thing. Uh, Actually, you can watch them on like the ring. The Grudge can be watched together. Because it's still centers on that house. Yeah. Where the woman died. Yeah. Until the fourth one. I, I feel like that's the whole point. It's like you can watch this to well, the, number the, three. But the main reason why the main reason the main reason why and I'm so glad that they did this was because they brought the original person who made Juno. Yeah. To make the garage. Exactly. So oh, it's like to put it in comparison, it would be like if Scoring Nix was a part of the live action adaptation of Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it, it would actually be connected. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. It's just like going through all this, and the like I said, there's a there's just this is lineup. There's a lineup here of the film, right? Uh, yeah. If you if you were watching the film, you will start off with the uh, Ju- not Juan the not Juan the curse. You have to start off with the short first because that's what oh yeah the that's series. Tiffany and the four four four. Yeah, you have to start off with that. Go in if you could find a, a short. If you could find the short, kudos on you. Uh, because I don't think. You could really find this short, but if you could find it, 
find it, watch it first, because that is the first series to starting the series. If that is not, you pretty much get the idea. Yeah, you, you pretty much get the idea, yeah. And you can just watch From it. the backstory. You can pretty much oh, watch That's a Juno. movie skip. Yeah. So you will watch Juno the Curse, Juno the Curse 2, then Juno the Grudge, Juno the Grudge 2, and then 2004 being the grudge because technically it is a connection it is it is an actual complete lineup here it is part mm. of the actual Junon series uh, but if you don't want to deal with the subs you can and watch the original trilogy isolated you could watch the original trilogy isolated um, which is why I like it because yeah. it's like if you don't want to switch through all the past you don't have to. Yeah. But if you want it to supplement the trilogy, it's there. Yeah. Um, then you have Grudge 2, Grudge 3, and then it goes back into Juno the White Ghost and Juno the Black Ghost. And this was the 2009 series after Grudge 3. Mm -hmm. um, this will be like Again, this will have to, if you're following the timeline, that's pretty much where it's at. And then there's Juno, the beginning of an end. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen that yet. That's a very interesting situation there. Because this is mm -hmm. the 2014 series of like this. So that's the beginning of the end. So something huh. happened right there. And then you have Juno, the final curse. Mm. That would be the 2015. And then you have the face-off, Saiko mm. versus Kayako. And then the Grudge 2020. And then you have the, the soft-ish reboot, but technically it's still part of the actual... The Western reboot. Reboot, basically. But it's still part of the actual connection between the actual series because it still showed the film ended up being a cycle yeah it's still a so big during during in that that takes place before and during the events of the 2004 yeah, film it's and basically the side story it's basically a mm -hmm. side story yeah yeah because it deals with an american family mm -hmm. and the one reason why people say the execution is bad, and I kind of agree with it, is because even though the family didn't uh, get choked or anything like that, they still make the grudge noises. Yeah, I and mean, the fact it's, that they say that this is like taking during the film of 2004, so it's definitely like. It's saying it's a remake, but it's taking a place during the 2004. It's uh, basically you're better off watching it as its own little side book. Yeah. It's if you don't think if you don't think of it as the main continuity, you should be able to enjoy it. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, and I have to tie this to video games. Mm. It's like the um. Legacy of the First Blade DLC and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It's putting, I, how how you pronounce like the icon of something where it doesn't need to be. It can still be the Grudge Curse, and you can tie it in that way. But they were putting in the Grudge noises and whatnot for the sake of it being the Grudge. Like we get it. It is the Grudge Curse. He died with the anger and sorrow, which made a Western version of Kaiko's Curse. So we get it. So, but you don't, the thing you don't this, need to make. Here's the thing about this, because what I remember watching this reboot, it didn't really have the, the actual. 
cool would be the word the 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 same curse uh sound like you don't hear the 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 noise of the choking mm -hmm. or, or was it the choking or was it the break of the neck it was I think it was the, the um it probably goes could have been either or because the, her husband uh did both to her. I think I think it I think the effect was by neck neck break, right? I think that's what it was. I think it was by neck break. I think I think because it also shattered her throat. Yeah, I think that's what happened, and that's what made it mm. get the noise. But like in the reboot, though, it's just like. They completely removed that entirely, basically. Well, yeah, because I'm reading the synopsis for the reboot. Yeah, yeah that's and yeah, basically. Um. Like, okay, so so they bled. So it was a woman. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was a woman who bludgeoned her husband and drowned her daughter. Yeah. Okay, the bludgeonings. Meh. Maybe if she hit the throat. Well, the point no, Maybe. the point was because she went inside the house, she got cursed, and she well, took yeah, her, yeah, she yeah. took she took cycle with her to the Russian area, and the kite, though. and then what happened during that time when she was being, you know, all seeing things and whatnot, what led her to killing the the daughter and the husband. And then killing herself off. Well, yeah, no, I'm not saying that. I'm talking about the reason for the clicking noise. Mm. Like the husband, maybe if she, you know, smacked him in the throat. Okay, I can see. The the drowning. Well, that's supposed to parallel the sun drowning, so I get that. But yeah, I mean, again, it's like, why set a new sound for it why not just use psycho's voice overhead because it's like that's the thing you heard that's the thing you should keep right when she was like affecting you like that's all you hear yeah is psycho uh, uh, so all if, you, if all you hear is that sound from psycho when you're getting killed anyway just use the sound, right? Well, I can see that, but at the same time, it's just. And then, and then only, and then, what made it more Western is that they kind of made it seem like, okay, oh hey, yes, you see me, right? I'm cursed. Yeah, you need to fix the situation. <laughs> you need to save us. I mean, you're, you're cursed here. You can't go anywhere. And it just... It really pits it on to, like... Why? Why would you dumb down the movie so hard? Yeah. And, and that's because they didn't keep the original director. Yeah. Like, you, you had the... You had the... You had money to use the character from the first half of the movie because it sounded like that's what they were gonna do. When you see mm -hmm. like the first half of the movie, it's like, oh, they're gonna bring Psycho to the Western area, right? And we're gonna have it's Psycho hunt. Yeah, you know, we're gonna have her like basically hunt the area. Mm -hmm. But then it ends up not happening that way, right? It just see, like, yeah. Yeah, because the original plan was it to be a reboot of the 2004. But then you're like, oh, we're not going to even make that a reboot. We're going to make it more of a something that just happened during the time mm -hmm. of the 2004. Because it's technically not even a, a reboot reboot because it's, it's a reboot, but it's like, a soft reboot because it sounds like they're gonna do another 
trilogy off of it, which is a bad plan to do because you suck so well, hard doing this yeah. a remake um, into a trilogy. Yeah, because I'm seeing this and, um, and it just says, uh, She burns it down. Yeah, she burnt the house down. And then... Then she realized that she still... And cursed. then... And then... Uh... Later... Time skip. She hugs her son again. Before he leaves school. Only to see... Her son leaves the house, and come to find out, it was the ghost of the daughter, and she was dragged away. And then they made an international ending where they just end it. Yeah, which is like, okay, you you know you fucked up. That's when you know a director has fucked up. <laughs> if the international ending is different than the yeah. original ending. I'm assuming that's probably what they probably did if we ever get to watch that part of it, of that ending. But again, it's like... You you know you fucked up the movie when you started to try to do this reboot. And if mm -hmm. you get a sequel to this reboot... Because technically what you're saying, this is like during the same timeline as 2004. Are we going to get some other ones that are during the timeline of the other two grudges? 2002 and 2003? And, I mean, the the grudge 2 and grudge 3 being See, 2006 and 2009? You, you know what they say, though. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Oh, it's, 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 it's broke. And it wasn't broke it with Kai Ghost Curse. Yeah, the original one wasn't broke. And they shouldn't have fixed it. They shouldn't have tried to fix it. Especially how yeah. good as 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 good vibes has gone to this movie for the first movie. Why would you even try to do a remake of the movie to begin with? The um, only problem they had was number three to begin with. If you wanted to reboot something, you should have rebooted number three. If that was the situation, reboot number three. You know. Or at least do a number four to fix the issue for number three, because number three was trash. But yeah. they they didn't do that. They just said, "No, we're just gonna soft reboot four because the first one because hey, no one liked the first movie. No, no one liked it the third movie. That's what you needed to fix. <laughs> so make a number four and try to fix." What happened to three? <laughs> oh, he's like, um, scrap all that. What, the, what, what was wrong with the third movie? Um, what was wrong with the third movie? What? Because in, let's see, because in Grudge War 1, uh, Richie Kelly gets into a hospital, uh, the sister comes find her in two to save her. From the hospital, but she's suicide, and then the sister ends up looking for the mother. Um. No, wait. Was that in number two? I feel like that should be in number two. Is it in number two? Cause I wait. Hold on. Um. Was it the sister that came and paired up in number two? I'm pretty sure the sister came up and paired up in number two, trying to like take her sister from out of the hospital, and then the sister suicide because she couldn't save herself from that curse, and. Yeah, the sister went to look for the mother of 
Kayako. Basically, right? Yeah. And basically, she's she's like she looked for the mother for Kayako, and then explained to to the mother about what's going on with Kayako, right? And Kayako said that I mean the mother of Kayako was like, well, no, the it's it was a. Uh, what, 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 what was the deep situation with that? Because it's like, because the mother was like a witch or whatever, right? And she's been like putting like nothing but dark, evil souls into Kayako's mouth mm-hmm. and all that. And then it was kind of like how the Ouija, the Ouija board thing situation, it was kind of like that. Mm-hmm. And when she realized like, well, that was you. You the one who fucked it up for everyone. If she was gonna die because of your mistake, you the one who made the mistake. So I'm pretty sure if I brought Kayako to you, she's getting her revenge on you, right? Basically, that could have saved her from the curse. But it's like, no, Kayako is still gonna kill anyone who steps into that house. Um, I'm trying to also think because I think at number three, because after they killed the sister, I think in number three, she was able to uh, pop up in places. So like the curse is no longer a thing where you have to enter the house anymore. She could just haunt everybody apparently. Mm. Uh, uh, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Let me go to the garage thing. Hunting travels. The mother sister. Okay, wait. So, what about number two then? The plot for number two was. Where's the plot for number two? Plot for number two, what the fuck? Uh... Oh no, what's the... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Plot for number two mm-hmm. was, uh... The plot for number two is when people were, uh... Shit. Uh, there were people who moved to Japan. That's what happened for plot number two. Plot number two was not when the other sister came to pick up the the sister. It was plot number two was like uh, you had a couple of you had a family that came over to Japan and they eventually got cursed by whatever. And then in plot number three is when the older sister comes to grab the sister, realizing the sister took suicide because she couldn't deal with. Kayako, and later on the sister was to go find the mother and of Kayako and try to see if they can so you know somehow so solve something with that. Uh, and I think after that, I'm pretty sure. Eventually she dies. The other sister eventually dies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's what happened. I think the other sister eventually dies from the curse. But. Can't remember. Exactly. Went down with that one. Um, basically. It's in Chicago. Yes, basically. And then they go into the apartment building where she lived. Mm-hmm. And I guess they kind of like 
Yeah, and I come in with the ghost of Kaiko and Toshio kill various residents and anyone associated with them. And then... The landlord's sister, Lisa, finds out that her brother Max is possessed by one of the spirits and the source of the curse. Warns that the ceremony must not be interrupted until Lisa and Max's sister Rose. That she must drink Kaiko's blood. Lisa refused. The thus Max realized Kaiko's attempt and kills her. And then Lisa is chased by Kaiko until just as Kaiko is about to kill Lisa, Rose drinks Kaiko's blood, which causes her curse to disappear. Max, who has been exercised with Kaiko's evil possession upon Kaiko's banishment, stays in horror at the body of Nelko. But a murder has begun a new curse. And kills him. The film ends with Kaiko shown to be in the possession of Rose, who then goes to the fourth one, which is a bunch of crap. It would make number three completely bad. It was just the way I don't know the way they did the film and number three just kind of it. It wasn't like all the way through bad, but there were some I guess some parts in there that made it bad. It's just like okay, it needs something to redeem this number three. So please redeem number three, and then they did the twenty twenty. Which should have redeemed number three, but didn't re- it? It redeemed number three, which is kind of funny in a way. It did redeem. It did redeem. Uh, making this version of the Grudge a poor excuse for a Grudge movie, and it made number three a good movie to watch. All in all, like don't don't just like when you get to Grudge number three. Don't take it as a as a bad movie, because when you know when you look at the 2020, 2020 is a bad movie. Yeah. Because of number three. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. It, it basically picked the lesser of the two evils. Wait, what? Lesser of the two evils. Lesser of the two evils, yeah. The third one is the lesser of the two evils. Mm. So basically, watch the show G to find the fourth one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, watch the trilogy. Just don't mind the fourth one. So if you're gonna watch Johan all the way through, you're gonna watch all the way to the 2016. But do not watch the 2020. Uh, and if you're gonna watch the 2020, watch. Well, wait. The Grudge is not 2020, right? It was before the 2020. What, what, what the fourth one? one? Yeah. It, it says, says 2020. 2020. But wasn't it? Didn't it came out the night? It, it came out 2019 though. Probably. Don't. Don't follow here what it says on the fucking Wikipedia because it this movie came out on the 2019. It, it, or wait, did it? I, I'm pretty sure I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. Let me let me rephrase that. I'm probably wrong. I think it did come out 2020. It did come out 2020. Uh, it was January 2020. It was early 2020. Never mind. Um, but yeah, don't watch the Grudge reboot, the 2020. Just watch mm-hmm. all the way to the 2016, where the whole versus fight between the two main uh, big horror characters. That's basically that's basically where you want to end it because yeah, it's just yeah, kind of like the perfect, perfect a perfect send off to it. 
And then if you mm-hmm. really want to like continue to see anything else, just watch the new Netflix series. Yep. Or, or switch, switch over to the ring. Because <laughs> then no, because no, if they said if, if they do it with the ring, ring and then. And then they just, not, not the Western, but then they watch the Japanese ring, ring, and then they can just go all the way up to the versus movie again, and then, and then they can just go, like, okay, okay now I'm wondering, then do the spin off, or not the spin off, but the Netflix series, and then the Western rings. Because mm. if they're going to if they're gonna, if they're gonna do one side of the story and end at um, Sadako versus Kaiko, they might as well do Sadako's story as well, to that point. <laughs> True. True. You mean, does, does that, that make, make sense? sense? They could do that. They, I, I would say if you want to really continue the movie series as a whole, if you're going to watch from the 1998 all the way to the 2016, definitely just go over to the ring series and watch the Japanese ring and watch the uh, the western ring series because yeah. you're basically completing the entire horror movie series in total mm-hmm. and again just don't watch the 2020 movie grudge that's it just just as a recommendation, just don't watch that version of the movie. Because, again, it's a garbage movie. It's a garbage movie. It does not need to exist at all. Um, let's see. Because I'm trying to remember what's the name of Kaiko's series here. the heck so Kaiko and Saiko what the fuck okay that makes no sense because it when I when I looked up Kaiko it brought up uh, the grudge yeah Yeah, because because Saiko I kept trying to tell you you were screwing it up yeah Saiko is the ring Saiko is the Cause when I looked up, that's weird. Cause I'm like trying to like look it up right now, and I'm like I'm getting different answers from from what, what the ring showing. Me. Yeah. So like, do I just look up the ring series, or do I somehow just look up her name, and then it'll pop it up? It's and, called or, ring. Yeah, I should just pop up ring right and then she just yeah it just, just ring not the ring ring or ringu r-i-n-g-u Uh, 
that they did ring two. Mm -hmm. And then they did the ring virus. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. ring zero birthday. Then the, the mm -hmm. ring, the mm -hmm. ring two. And then we get into Which the are, American ring, the ring two, and then we go back to Psycho 3D, 3D, the Psycho go, 2 3D, then we got the versus rings, and then, and then rings, one just called Psycho from 2019. from 2019, and you can't even click on it. Now, the reason why I feel like they're not going to allow you to click on this one because it, it makes it seem like it's not a confirmed title there. Or no, it first. is. IMDb. It is? And okay. it, yeah. Oh, so, actually, if you scroll down where it says Japanese media, it basically shows it right here. Yeah. That's interesting. It does have it does have the, the actual twenty nineteen. You could just go right down and just show it up there, but um, uh, it just it will show the information about it. But uh, which is kind of weird how it's not light up and highlighted. It just makes no sense. If that's a twenty nineteen, you should have it highlighted. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of it's kind of. It's kind of weird. Apparently, uh, it is terrible. Um. Uh, yeah, I guess if you want to go this way, that's that's the way you're doing it. It's basically ring this, 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 the ring, then ring, and then the ring again, two, and then cycle, cycle, two, and then versus psycho because it, it makes seem like they're about to do like another psycho but that was supposed to be like a a reboot 2019 seems like it should be like a reboot yeah because if they're gonna just go ahead and say okay we got psycho 3d psycho 3d 2 i'm thinking psycho Standard, it's just a regular psycho reboot to psycho 3D, and they shouldn't really be a 2019 here unless it's just a 2012 non 3D version of it. That's my case for that, unless they actually made a psycho. 2019, and they're just like, well, it's supposed to be Yeah It, it, it's real It's real It's real It's real Hmm Give me a second I'm posting it in the collab channel. It's real. Check here, quick, quick. Uh, ooh. Let's see what we get from this. We're gonna hear the voice of this. Alright, we're gonna listen in. You won't see a visual of what's going on. You know, okay, that's interesting. So, this is supposed to be a continuation, right? I think so. It is supposed to not be a reboot at all. Well, wait, 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 
it's not moving like uh, the fuse. I mean, she still got the whole hair thing going, which is again the only thing of Kayako would have with the hair. Like that makes sense. But it's mm-hmm. like the whole movement. It's not like Kayako at all. Mm-hmm. Um. But again, it is an April Fool's versus, but it's like still a full movie. It's still kind of canon yeah so it's either that it's like, it, it has to be like this 2019 has to do probably before it this has to do somewhere before that first is. that's the only way you can explain this movie it's probably have to do right before cycle versus kind of So it's it. So yeah, Saiko will have to take place during Kayako, uh, Saiko, uh, 3D and Saiko 3D2. This will have to take place during that time, and then you have the freshest off. If, so if you're watching it, you will have to be watching it like that. You will have to pit the versus last. And that's like doing it for both movies, right? I think so. Mm-hmm. I think so you had to do that for both movie series. You pick the versus last because that's the last thing you need to watch to get the full detail of what's going on between the two characters and why they're facing off and the whole situation goes on with them. Uh, okay. That's... that's that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, that's interesting. Now I've been looking for the for like the movies on uh, trying to see if I could download the movie series, but I haven't found a spot to find the download the movie series. I might have to like look some other areas to finding it, but hopefully I can find it. Um. Well, that's interesting. Any other horror movies series that you want to talk about? Because, again, my whole situation with Psycho and Kayako. Why? 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 <laughs> Their names are so close to each other. So stupid. Um. So, the thing about the Between the Grudge and The Ring, it's like, again, these are like pretty good horror movies, basically. They're pretty good, scary movies. If you want to see a good, scary movie, that's your movie to watch. Either The Grudge or The Ring. Um, watch both. Because uh, those are very good, scary horror movies. Um, just to be watching in dark by yourself. If you can handle it, that's the movies you need to watch. Um, I don't think there's any movies that could really top it. Um, because you have movies like nowadays that are kind of like predictable when it comes to scaring people. That's like the same thing why you shouldn't watch the 2020 uh, Grudge movie is because it's just, it makes it a predictable western type of mockery. And they didn't do that with the original three, so which is kind of strange how they didn't do it with the original three and they did it with the reboot of the original first one, which is dumb for them to do and then make a mockery of it. It's like, why? Why do that? Mm-hmm. Why, why, um, why throw so low? Um, like you say, um, one is called a good one. 
again, me and my mom's car is a good one. So if you, if you ever get to the chance of watching any of these horror movies, definitely. Oh, and anything Stephen King. Anything Stephen King. I mean, I don't know how I feel about the remake of the It series. Uh, um, but what I'm, did, you're talking about enjoyable. It's if you're going for straight scare factor, I'm not entirely sure about it. New it, I haven't watched it yet, so I can't put my thing on it. And same with the Dark Tower, because the Dark Tower isn't horror, but most of Stephen King's horrors. Yeah. Um, like the original it, The Shining, Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery, and the remake of Pet Cemetery. Um, yeah. I mean the um, remake of, but the thing about the remake of the the Pet Cemetery, it's good but not that good. It's good but not good. If you okay, want to so watch, watch the original, but don't write the remake. Pretty, if you feel like. You yeah, um, pretty much any of the older Stephen King horrors. They're good. Yeah, if, if I could recommend any good uh, Stephen King's uh, movies is watch all original content from him because at least all the original content are good. Um, if you're watching The Shiny, definitely watch Part 2 of The Shining. The Part 2 will be the new uh, Doctor Sleep. Doctor Sleep, that will be the continuation to The Shining. Definitely watch it. It's definitely a good uh, movie to watch. Um, that one I don't hate because it's I like what they do with it and it's very good. Um, but yeah, if like I said, if it's original content and it's a sequel to that content by Stephen King, definitely watch it. But if it's a remake. Don't watch it because you might have some type of feeling your way about it if you watch the mm. remake. And because sometimes always remakes are not always good as the original concept. And if it ends up being better than the original concept, then you're glad that you watched it. But most remakes are not as good. Um, and then again. One Miss Call, definitely just check out One Miss Call if you ever get the chance to watch that one. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I think that's all we got to say dun. about this, right? I think, I think that's... We think covered it, yeah. I mean, there is another horror film that I do want to say. If you really want to go on a situation of watching horror movies, uh... If you're trying to watch like sequels or trilogies and whatnot, try out the Chucky, the Child's Play series, the the one through three. Yeah, the Child's Play. Do not watch Bride of Chucky. Do not watch the Curse of Chucky. The Curse of Chucky. Eat a Chucky. The Seed of Chucky. Um, even though these are the continuations of the series don't watch it it's, it's not a good horror movie it's, it plays more on the comedy sense of a horror movie i think cursed i think only curse of the chuck no it's not curse of chucky it's uh is it curse of chucky i think it is no is it i'm trying to think right no yeah it is the curse of chucky sure the only thing that I don't like about Curse of Chucky is the... Oh, what happened in the Curse of Chucky? It's the... The way they made the doll. The way they kind of like... Pampered it up a little bit. Where it looked funny a little bit. Mm. Don't... It's a good horror movie. It just... It just tells you certain things that you needed to know. That you didn't know. That happened between... Two and... 1 through 2 of the child play area 
it basically kind of just explains the little story in between or the backstory if you want to know the backstory of what happened between one and two a little bit more towards one um and then uh, again you have the coat of chucky uh i will say not watch it but if you feel like you want to watch it because it is the continuation of curse it's up to you if you want to watch it if you want to watch the yeah. remake definitely watch the remake it's not bad but definitely watch the remake I would recommend the remake. Watch the remake. And then there is going to be a TV series for the uh, original Child's Play series. Because it's going to be happening during the time of Child's Play. So <laughs> definitely once they finally put that show on the air. Because it's going to be on sci-fi. <laughs> which is going to be pretty interesting how they're going to do this on sci-fi mm-hmm. since there's such a censorship on sci-fi they might blur things out on kills mm-hmm. <laughs> um, or if they the blacks but yeah it's gonna it's gonna have the same aesthetic we're gonna have the same actor who did the voice for Chucky in the child series um, But yeah, it's supposed to be taking during that time as well, so we might get some other side information going on during that time through uh, Child's Play 1, Child's Play 2, and Child's Play 3, So, which is a good thing, not a bad thing, because they were supposed to do that for a movie and try to add like another part to that movie, but then end up going the way it shouldn't have gone. So they're like, well, just pick it up on a an actual TV series. So they're gonna try to bring that to sci-fi, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um. I mean, again, the movies is still canon. Like I said, if you want to watch the 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 sequel trilogy, that's up to you. Uh, I definitely, the only things I do recommend is the original trilogy the three and then the reboot mm. and there's also supposed to be a sequel to that review as well so whenever that comes by we'll get that and definitely can't wait till that one comes out too um yeah i think i think i said my piece about the whole recommendations and what are seemingly like a good movie to watch as a horror film. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think that's it for our podcast for our coming back podcast because again, it's been a while since we did anything podcast related because things have been happening in our lives and. We just haven't did a podcast in, for like, months. So the fact that we're doing a podcast now, and since I was able to get the whole mic situation working correctly with figuring out, well, with the audio, the audio uh, situation, um, it's just, so my desktop audio wasn't, like, completely upwards. And I didn't have the set audio to default for the Discord to matches the this uh the audio for the from OBS. That's probably why everything's always been low and no one can hear. But since we fixed uh-huh. that, it works. It works, and we're good. We're good. Um. So again, thank you guys. Uh, for like watching this podcast I know it's not like a live stream podcast it's not a live podcast it is pretty much a pre-recorded podcast but you know again usually I, I if I wanted to stream this podcast we could stream it um, it's up to you guys for like letting us know if you if you want a official live podcast we could do a live podcast but, yeah. 
Uh, I'm typically free Mondays, so. Yeah, and since I'm also free on Mondays, it just works. Um, we just probably need to figure out the times because me and Chaotic are on different time schedules, so we just need to pretty much usually just figure out the time and. Well, up. it would be, um, what, you're three hours ahead of me? Or behind me? Is it behind? I think it's behind. Yeah, because it's currently 10.33. And I'm like 7. So like 3 so, hours. Yeah. So it would be typically around 5 p.m. Yeah, so basically around 5 p.m. Usually we'll have to stream around like 5 p.m. If, in case, for you. Uh, for, for me, basically. Just to <laughs> set up everything and live stream podcast. Um, yeah. yeah, again, thank you, Chaotic, for coming out for the podcast, because uh, I know you wanted to get some podcasts going on and doing some stuff, and same Yeah, you. I need to start streaming more on Mondays, too. And, again, I'm also now a part of, like other things as well like I'm also part of a new clan that I'm trying to like do more Call of Duties with um, I'm still keeping my clan don't worry guys I'm still part of my clan in general because it is what it is with my clan it's just I need to get people to join the clan to actually want to do Call of Duty and whatnot um, but I joined a clan because there's members on this clan that does Call of Duty like I do and play hardcore and whatnot so I joined yeah. them and you know most of our friends don't really play Call of Duty so you know hey you you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do to well I might I was debating on getting it uh, so I could play with you I don't know about playing Modern Warfare though it's just I've been having like not a great time playing it, so that's why it's still on Black Ops Four right now. Cause I, it's, yeah, it's, I can't I can't deal with what's going on in Modern Warfare. Yeah, and uh, I need to start live streaming other games. I keep forgetting that I have all these other games that I need to be live streaming. Mm -hmm. I still have. Zona Blade Chronicles, Zona Blade Chronicles to live stream. I still need to live stream the gameplay. I kind of like stopped live streaming it and I need to go back to live streaming it on Twitch. Um, yeah. I just started playing a new game. Well, not a new game, it's an old game. I started playing The Last of Us, which is um, my PlayStation nice. 4 uh, Bondo. Um, yeah. I started playing The Last of Us. And I kind of want to get into this because it's it's a good game. It's a good game. Sometimes it's not even... The thing is, I'm playing it on normal. But it still feels a little bit difficult playing it on a normal gameplay, basically. I got in halfway through, but it just feels sometimes difficult when you're dealing with certain things like zombies. Uh, and then I gotta play the side story being left behind which is yeah. I don't know how that's gonna help my situation knowing the fact that I gotta still complete the first half and then I gotta play a side story with the female character so uh, and that's going to also play into another situation. Am I going to buy Last of Us 2? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Because I'm not as invested with the main character. So, even though I was spoiled, I'm not invested with the character at all. Not as well, it much, doesn't matter. Not as much as how everyone else is. I'm, I'm invested in the character because this, the character did lose his daughter. So, the fact that you kill off a main character who lost his daughter, I get where you're coming from. 
I'm gonna be heated. I'm gonna be really heated. Yeah, I'm gonna be heated. But it's just like it's not affecting me as everyone else is. And it's again, it's like I didn't invest myself in the father. I invested in the daughter because that was the person I played with who ended up dying. Like, you know, because I was mm-hmm. so like obstruct of what just happened like this girl got shot and died right in this man's arms like I feel some type of way like I feel sorry for the guy I I feel like if I had a daughter and that same thing happened to me I would, I would be fucking mad as fuck and I would have took my own life from that situation but you know again it's like I feel like I can invest in this character but I don't want to I I just can't get emotionally attached to this character again I get it everyone who was emotionally attached I get their reasons why you were spoiled and they kind of fucked you up over with that one and then knowing the fact that you're gonna have to play the character who fucked up your character (laughs) for it how, how how many hours you gotta play the character who killed the the main character? Like ten, like ten how hours of gameplay? Yes. Just so you can feel some type of way about the main character. I mean the, I guess the new supporting character, main character, which kind of just blows my mind how that just happened. So um, yeah. I haven't played Last of Us as long as everyone else, so that's why I just feel like I can't really feel the same way y'all guys feel about it. Because I'm just starting out playing this game, and I'm just new to the game, so it's just like, I just can't feel the same way because I don't really have that much of an attachment to the character. So, I'm not going to live stream Last of Us. I'm just, I'm not. It's... It, it seems like this is more of a, like a game that I need to play personally by myself to play it, just to play it um, on my own time and just playing it. How about this? Okay. I will buy the second game. You buy the second game. We play through them both. And we'll have another podcast. You could probably find it second hand. Uh, I wish there was like some type of like co-op though for that game. <laughs> Sorry. Because if it would have made this game more interesting if there was co-op, like we could like co-op do the story mode together, and it will make. Is there co-op? Um, I don't. Think think part two is called. I don't think they did mm-hmm. part two. Mm-hmm. I know I know that I know there's a co op in the first one, but that's basically something else. I forgot what that was. It's called Factions. Yeah, it's like an online something for that basically and then do like a I guess like is it a co-op though online let me check it real quick uh cause I know you can make like a clan and everything yeah you could invite people and I guess you could do some type of thing with it whatever but I still don't know how I feel about doing a game cause this is not like it's not like doing a story mode. It's, it's not doing like a story yeah. mode. It's just like you're probably guessing other people and whatnot. Well, I'm just, I'm just uh, saying. I would think because you could find it easily in the second hand shop at this rate. Mm. So we weren't, we wouldn't even be supporting Sony or anything. We'd just be buying it second hand, and we could just play through the first game, play through the second game, 
and then actually give her thoughts. I think it would be a very interesting podcast. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I don't mind doing this. I don't mind, like, buying the game, because if it's, like, on, like, a discount price, that's fine. I don't mind, you know, buying it and then going through the game. But I would still have to, like, probably finish Last of Us and the side story. Well, yeah, before yeah, and um, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I will re-download the first one with the side story, mm-hmm. and we'll play through it. We could take a break and do a podcast and explain our thoughts and our experiences with the first game. Okay. And then we could tread through the second game, and then give our thoughts on that in our final rating of the franchise as a whole. Oh, I'm down. Cause. And now I'm set at the second part being 6 out of 10, which means the franchise overall being 8 out of 10. Mm. The franchise as a whole. But maybe, just maybe, because I'm seeing all these other YouTube people and whatnot say that it's actually a halfway decent game. Mm -hmm. I'll take my stab at it. If I still and see if the 6 out of 10 is a hill I'll is the hill I'll die on. Cause, yeah, because the whole point of the thing is supposed to make you feel sorry for the person that just killed the main character. So... Uh, yeah. yeah, so... And, like I said, my gripe isn't the story. It's how the story was executed. Yeah. But, who knows? It could change. It could change. It could possibly change. Uh, I'll buy the secondhand shopper heavily discounted. Yeah. I don't think it's worth the sixty. Uh, okay. I'm gonna ask you something. Um. Where were you before before we continue, before we end this actual podcast? Where were you in? During Last of Us. Do you remember where you were during Last of Us? Uh, the original Last of Us? Yeah. I actually did... I was going to play it, and then Royal came out. Uh, so I so deleted it for space. Uh, so you, you never actually played it, played it? No. Uh, but I wanted to, being a father myself. You know. Okay. So that's why I'm saying, like, I'll figure out, I'll delete some games, I'll put it on there, and I'll play through it. Might take me a couple, it might take me a little bit, but I'll get through it. And then we could do a podcast after you. We're both done with the first game. Mm-hmm. Explain our thoughts. Explain our ratings okay. for the first game. Then we'll tread through the second game. Mm-hmm. Give our thoughts, give our ratings on the game, and then talk about the franchise as a whole. Yeah. What they did right, what they did wrong, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Because I was, was going to say, because I actually am stuck at a certain part in this game. Which I still need to get through to even complete the game to begin with. So hopefully I could just pass through, and then we'll be set. <laughs> yeah, and once the conditions line up, mm-hmm. if you want to be a part of it, if I can get conditions to line up correctly, I'm gonna marathon the Assassin's Creed games. I'm really not a Assassin's Creed fan, though. No, no, no. I mean, like, you just be on the PlayStation mm-hmm. bullshitting with me. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. You know what I mean. Yeah. All right. Not actually, like, because I highly doubt you want to take a plane ticket down the Delaware. <laughs> Yeah.
anyway. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think we, I think we said our, our piece in our uh, stuff about things. Um, yeah. Again, thank you, Kaylee, for coming out to the podcast. And oh, it's just a pleasure. And uh, definitely leave a like, comment about you know if you have any like interesting horror movies that you would like to recommend that I have probably seen or probably uh, liked or didn't like and I'll pretty much respond because I always like to respond to my comments if you've seen comments being re- you know, replied to I do read and reply back uh, so definitely like let me know how you feel about certain things um and definitely definitely again like we recommended you guys some movies and if you didn't like most of the movies we recommended uh just let me know again uh sometimes not every movie is not for everyone i know that for a fact because there's not really not enough movies for me that i like that i just really don't like um yeah uh again leave a comment like the video if you want to you don't have to like the video if you want to dislike the video dislike the video it's it's all up to you if you don't want to put anything there you don't have to put anything anything there same thing for comments usually comments are all those things just giving us a listen is support enough yeah just viewing the video it's good enough for us um subscribing the whole subscribing thing i am trying to get a certain point in subscribers um even then that's not really that what matters but to support me uh you know i don't mind a subscribe there or there uh, our what, 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 what do you got? What do you got? What? I, I'm, I'm checking your YouTube channel to see what you got. Cause uh, I got a little incentive here. Oh, okay. Um, so, I'm kind of like around like six something subscribers. Uh, I think it was like 643, 42, 43 around there. Um, uh, I'm trying to reach to like 700s so or I'm like so we could be like almost halfway oh there to I'm, reaching uh 1000 because that's mostly what the goal is to reach 1000 but right okay, now okay right? okay 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 here's mm-hmm. how it is now going to be on YouTube and he has no way of backing out of this he reaches a thousand he has to buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla and play it on stream. What? On stream, really? Yep. yep. I have to buy the one game that I don't like to play <laughs> on stream. I promise you, you, I, I, I promise you, you will more than likely enjoy Valhalla. I probably will enjoy God of War then. No, the, you, you, you like you like how the mon the um you like how God of War twenty eighteen played, right? Uh, this is a guy who didn't play any of the series. I'm just saying. So wait, you never played God of War twenty eighteen? I played God of War. I played God of War, but I haven't played Assassin's Creed at all. None well, no, 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 I'm saying, that's fine, that's fine. You want to know why? Mm. You, you enjoy, you mm. play, you enjoy the axe combat, right? Yeah. Imagine that, but faster. So, a more non-slower version of Kratos with the swinging of the axe. Yeah, where you can decapitate enemies. Kind of intrigued me a little bit, a little bit. Uh, for for real, no, they. Ever since Origins, 
they have moved away from the stealth being the only option. It's more, it's more of a traditional RPG now. Huh, interesting. Yeah, so, that's what I'm saying. A thousand subscribers, you buy Valhalla, you play it on stream. Okay, guys, if, if I reach a thousand, if I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll buy a game that I don't play, and... No, no, just play on stream. You don't no, have I'll play that particular game on stream, on Twitch, and YouTube at the same time. Is that fair? Yep, that yep. game. That's, That's all I'm saying. saying. That's, That's it. it. Thousand That's subscribers, it. you give a holler. Elgato to the freaking PS4 to the computer and we'll stream it. We'll stream it. We'll stream it. I mean, I might not have to do it like that, but I'll probably connect it to the uh, remote play and stream it like that. Oh. Uh, Alright. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, if we reach it, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and end this podcast. See you guys. Bye into the next podcast. Once, whenever we get to the point of doing another podcast. Bye. Bye.